All right, we'd like to go and get started. We'd like to welcome Maverick McNeely to the interview room here at the 2024 Shriners Children's Open. Mav, making your sixth appearance here in this event, but first time since 2022, I guess just how special it is as being a Las Vegas resident to be back here playing in this event? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it's one special to be able to play a golf tournament and sleep in my own bed um, for one, but uh, this is a golf course, basically my home course. Uh, I play here five, six days a week, and um, this is, you know, every time you tee it up here, you're, you're kind of thinking about the tournament and uh, looking forward to it. The course is great. The weather is usually great, and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite weeks of the year. You finished top ten in your last uh, start here in 2022. I guess what were just some of the highlights from that week, things that stick out about your, about your performance, what you can recall? Uh, I remember at that point I wasn't hitting it great, but I putted awesome. It was the first year after the regrassing, and I uh, actually made it a point to tee off first on the back nine on Monday so I could take the first few divots on the back nine, which was fun. I actually <laughs> birdied the first two holes in my practice round, so that was kind of cool. And then, um, you know, entering the week, you're, you're 56 in the FedEx Cup fall standing. It's just what are your overall thoughts on just the outlook for the rest of the fall and, you know, the opportunity to, to gain some, you know, additional signature event starts in 2025? Yeah, the, the, the start of the season is so important. If you get off to a good start and you're high on that points list, it matters so much. So getting those first few signature events at AT&T and uh, Genesis would be massive. Two Poana events that I play really well at. Um, top 10 at both of them and uh, just I, I think I would if I do get in those two I'd probably play six out of the first seven tournaments because again if you get high on that FedEx Cup list early it, it gives you a huge leg up on the rest of the year and uh, that kind of starts here with me playing the next five out of six weeks trying to solidify a spot in top 60. Perfect all right we'll open it for questions I think we'll start here with Cam. A couple. Uh, Mav, we talked in Memphis, and you had, you had, I think you'd set a number that you thought you needed, and I think you just about hit it or did hit it, um, and you were really proud of yourself. And um, just was wondering, you've had a lot of time to reflect on that and the fact that you came through um, under pretty big pressure and everything, what you learned from it and kind of what your thoughts are now that we've had a little bit of time to, to kind of think about it. Memphis was a lot of fun. It was my second week with my brother, Scout, on the bag, too, and uh, he helped me a ton in one of the more pressure-packed uh, weeks of the year. Um, you know, I, I came up one shot short of the number I thought I needed on Sunday. I uh, thought I needed seven under, and I ended up shooting six, and because of that, I'll probably play a couple more tournaments this fall than I would have otherwise, but that being said, my game's good, and I love a bunch of these fall tournaments and want to play them, and... Uh, I don't know what else I'd be doing with my time. I, I love I love competing, and uh, you know, so I, I, I definitely take a lot of confidence from uh, finishing 12th in that field, and you know, really not feeling like I got much going early in the week. Um, but definitely want to get going here. I've I've played four competitive rounds in the last two months now since Memphis, so want to want to get get some good momentum going the next month and a half here. And where is your game compared to where it was in, in Memphis? Are you pretty much right right back where you were? Are you a little rusty? Or I've worked really hard the last two months. Uh, I know this is a, a really important fall. Um, I'm also, uh, I, you know, like I said, this is this is a time where I'm pouring everything I have into my golf game. I've got no other distractions. Um, you know, I got married a year ago, and, and my wife takes a ton off my plate at home too. And uh, it's really been full steam ahead as far as golf goes. I've, I think I've maybe taken two days off since Memphis. Uh, and, yeah, just worked really, really hard, and, and my game feels really good. Brian Hurlbert, Las Vegas Golf Insider and Sports Illustrated Golf. There's some great games, great tour players around here. Here, the Summit, Southern Highlands, you name it, you guys play. How does that help you prepare for competition, and what are some of those games like? That's that's awesome. That's one of my favorite things about living here. Um, I talked to one of my best friends, Joseph Bramlett, into moving to Vegas, and we have a ton of games. But um, I always say when I'm at a tournament, I'm trying to uh, – my practice time is geared towards calibration because you get plenty of competition. And then when you're at home, you've got to search out ways to stay competitively sharp because there's plenty of time to – 
work on stuff and, and recalibrate. So uh, having so many guys around here, um, you know, from Corn Ferry Tour all the way through uh, top PGA Tour guys is a lot of fun. It's really easy to find a game. Um, I think Joseph, Doug, and I live all within five five minutes of each other. Uh, played a bunch with uh, Harry Hall, um, Taylor Montgomery. Um, yeah, there's there's guys all over. Joseph, uh, Isaiah Salinda lives out here now. Uh, former Stanford teammate of mine. Going to have his PGA Tour card next year. So a great contingent of uh, guys to stay sharp with. So we can look at the stats in the FedEx Cup and see who's highest rank and all that and who's the best, so to speak. But who's the best playing for a little action I off love, the course? I love playing Isaiah because he talks a lot of trash and it makes me really want to beat him. So his money spends better than everyone else's. I think just one more from me real quick now. I guess what's the approach this week being at home and, you know, staying in your, your process and staying focused on the task at hand, but also knowing that you are, you know, around family and, uh, you know, in that comfortable environment? Yeah, it's, it's been a fun week. I've had my whole team staying with me. Every um, every room is full in our house, uh, but it's it's been great. It's like a, a team nav uh, home base this week. Um, you know, scouts going to be here. Tons of friends and family coming out to watch, which is always fun. Uh, it's always one of my favorite things. One of my uh, biggest regrets from college is that our home tournament was always during spring break, so none of my uh, college friends were able to watch me play and compete. So when I've got a bunch of friends and family in town, uh, have them out to watch and, and show them what I you know, spend every waking hour of my life trying to improve uh, is pretty fun. And uh, just kind of get to let them in on my world for one week a year and uh, try and show off a little bit of what I love to do. All right. Well, hopefully you get them plenty to cheer about this week. Thanks so much for the time, Matt. Appreciate it.